Welcome to Cleveland, Ohio, Quicken Loans Arena, the place where the playoffs sort of ended for Toronto is where they kind of begin this year, Sherm, when you look at the Raptors playing the last game against the Cavs, but they already know the matchup is determined, the 3-6 matchup against the Milwaukee Bucks. Before we get into Milwaukee a little bit, this game tonight, they always say you take it one game at a time. This one game really doesn't mean anything. The matchup is set. Cleveland's resting LeBron. We know how things are going to shake down. Well, yeah, and Cleveland's trying to figure out their own issues surrounding what's happened to them over the last, say, two weeks of the season. But there's no question that if you're the Raptors, you still have some things that you want to clean up. I mean, you still want to continue to acclimate Kyle to the team and get certain players acclimated to Kyle's way of playing. Also, you want to go into the playoffs thinking, we're in good rhythm. Yes. We've got good flow right now. Offensively, defensively, we're moving in the right direction. And I think a game like tonight, even though Cleveland's not playing LeBron, you as the Raptors still have things you've got to work on, and that's the focus that has to happen tonight. Raptors have won 8 out of 10 coming into tonight, three in a row. Maybe they'll make it four and, and uh, nine of 11 in that sense. But the real look ahead comes to the weekend, Sherm, when they play Milwaukee. Giannis Antetokounmpo, his first time in the playoffs, but don't fool yourself, Milwaukee's a young, aggressive, athletic team with a little bit of shooting and a grizzled vet in Jason Jason Terry and Chris Middleton back and to provide them with some of that as well. No question. And the last time the Raptors played the Bucs, they had some issues with them. And I think when you look at the Bucs in this matchup, a lot of this is going to be tempo oriented and the fact that the Bucs, they score in transition when they turn you over and force you to play their style. In the half court, that's where you want to keep them and make them have to grind it out and score possession after possession. So there's there's going to be some challenges that have to be met by the Raptors. But again, that first game is going to, going to be important. They've struggled the first game of the last two series in the play. Excuse me, the first two series of last season in the playoffs. They've got to figure out a way to get it done on their home floor and be the aggressor against a young, hungry team and who's very is coached very well by Jason Kidd. The Raptors have only won once game one of a seven game series in their playoff history. Somebody will tell me out there on the Internet or on Twitter. I believe they're 1 and 11. They might even be 1 and 12 or 1 and 13. But I know the one is the key issue. All right, let's listen to the one guy who runs this for Toronto, Dwayne Casey, and his players after practice this morning. This game is about habits. And when you go out and feel like, okay, we're going to go through the motion tonight and we're going to turn it on come this weekend, we're kidding ourselves. And that's how you build the, our culture has got to be. We don't take anybody for granted. We don't fear anybody, but we don't take anybody for granted. And we don't feel like we're better than anybody else. Our culture is respect, but you go out and play to your habits. And the way you play to your habits is you do them every night, no matter who. And we haven't done a good job of that. So, you know, we get to the mindset where, all right, we have a team that's below 500 come in. We, okay, throw our press clippings out there. This league th will kick you in the butt every time you do that. Um, thankfully, we have, you know, the new additions with PJ and Serge, guys who can help, you know, push us in the right directions from that aspect. But just knowing our track record and how we performed in the first game, um, just not letting that happen, doing whatever it takes to get our minds and our bodies right and come out the right way and protect home court. So you can see game 82, the Raptors' final regular season game tonight at 8 o'clock on TSN and hear it with this guy and me on TSN 1050.